Hi guys, Billy back and this time we're going to be looking at something a little bit different today from Hot Toys. Just a little bit. Not not entirely different, not completely new IP or anything. You know, they've teased that they're going to be doing John Wick, but we haven't seen anything yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. But they've decided to release this Mech Strike Black Panther figure, which is quite interesting. I believe it's from a comic book series, but it's not something that I've ever read or paid attention to. But again, it's just saying that they're introducing the first collectible from the Marvel's Avengers Mech Strike lineup, Black Panther as die-cast collectible figure with two ways to display. Now, this is quite interesting because it does look a little bit like a, a Transformer in a way. You know, it's kind of a bit like the Bay Michael Bay Transformers with all the angles and the sort of ridges and stuff on it, you know, quite harsh lines in the design. And it's all based on Adi Grano's unique perception of the Black Panther armor and stylish intersection of the suit in Panther mode. It's 35 centimeters tall and it's a newly crafted helmet head with LED light up function, which I would not expect any less. Matte black, silver and purple. Yep, that's pretty much Black Panther. Purple luminous reflective effect patterns. More black light effects, I think. This is obviously something that they did with the neon text back here. But also, you know, Black Panther also had some black light features. It's come with a spear, a shield, a sword, multiple pairs of interchangeable hands, which is a big surprise. They never do that. Joking. And a figure stand. The Mech Strike armor figure also enables Panther mode. Now that's the interesting part I think people would kind of like. That being said, it's it's one of those things with Hot Toys. Because you could transform into the Panther, but then you've just got a robot Panther on your shelf. Which is cool if you want a robot Panther on your shelf. But if you want Black Panther, then you're going to have to transform him back. So technically, you might have to buy two of these if you want to show off both features at the same time. But coming in and having a look at the pictures does look pretty cool again you can see all the black light features along here with these glowing eyes it's probably going to be battery operated i pray and hope that they've learned in their lesson and they start doing usb but it's probably going to be battery operated fantastic look you can see the artwork from the comic book here you can see the designs artists uh is it illustration artist collection so it's a bit like they've done these occasionally in the past with like I think it was the Samurai Predator and I think it was comic book Iron Man and the Arena Suit Boba Fett, things like that. They're things that come from the comics. They don't come from the MCU movies, but because they've got that friendship with Marvel, maybe they get incentives. Do you remember the Armorized Deadpool? Also the War Machine Punisher. Like Hot Toys did a War Machine Punisher and also Marvel Legends did a War Machine Punisher. And I'm wondering, were they given some sort of licensing incentive to make those figures? Were they told if they wanted this figure, they had to make a War Machine Punisher figure? Do you know what I mean? These deals act in weird ways. And I wonder if Hot Toys were actually doing something where they were forced to make that War Machine Punisher, or if they were given a licensing incentive. For example, we only ask for half what we normally ask for a license, and then Hot Toys and maybe Marvel Legends do the maths and think, well, actually, if they're gonna give us a big old discount on that license, then even if we sold a thousand of them, we'd still make more money than we would with a license figure where we had to pay the full license fee for. That kind of thing. So this is probably something like that. They've either been incentivized by Marvel to make this, or they've been given like a, a, a almost like a tax break, if you'd like, from Marvel for releasing this guy. But yeah, it's it's a very interesting looking figure. If you like your mechs, I know there is a big market for mechs in Asia, especially, you know, your your Gundams and things like that. That's why Iron Man was so popular in Asia as well as the West, because he was just this cool machine mech suit thing. They do love a suit up armor. They really, really do. So this is something that maybe these guys will be like, oh, it's like a robot, but it's also like Black Panther. I was waiting for something like this. It's like Iron Panther, you know? So maybe that's going to be something that is going to incentivize people to get in on this line. I'd be interested if this is just going to be a one-off. Look, this is him all standing up normally, but then you can transform him this way. And it looks like it's just going to be foot pegs. Like you just swap out the hands for feet and then just bend him over, stick a tail up his bum, and then just sort of hunch him around. It's 
it looks interesting. I don't know how they're going to transform that. They'll probably release a video soon on how it will actually work, and maybe that will incentivize people to get in. But he's even got this sort of light-up panel in here, like a transparent hip joint, so it glows a little bit. The same up here, the joints inside glow. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not something I will be jumping on straight away, but I, I can see there is some merit to this figure, if you like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> it, but it does look a little bit like a Animal Transformers, you know. What was it, Beast Wars? Looks a little bit Beast Wars. There you go, the Beast War boys are going to be all over this, probably. You know, you love Marvel, you love Beast Wars, you love Transformers. This is probably going to be up your street. Or maybe not. Maybe it will fall through the cracks of everybody's interests. Like, it's not enough for the Transformers, it's not enough for the Beast War guys, it's not enough for the Black Panther fans, and it's not enough for the Marvel fans. It could really fall through the cracks of all those interests. I doubt it, because there's always going to be someone who wants to buy the hot toy. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it looks like there is a slight transformation thing going on. I don't really know how it works. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I still don't see the... Maybe maybe it's just, maybe you just pull out all the joints here, you know? Hunch him over and it works a little bit better and it sort of... Oh, actually, yeah, maybe. Yeah, actually, we might be all right. Yeah, I'm starting to, starting to get into my head here how it works. I mean, I'd be interested. I mean, maybe they'll release other mech strike figures in the range do you remember how everybody saw the neon tech and everyone was like oh no i ain't buying no neon tech that looks crap and then they kept releasing neon techs and then some people actually grew to like them and actually start buying them could be the same for these guys if they start putting more of these mech strike figures out we could see a big uptake in it and if this guy is the first one it could be that he becomes a grail in years to come, you know? That's always a possibility with uh, any hot toy, to be honest. There's always the slight possibility this one could be the grail. I doubt it. But it could. Like I said, they could go with other characters. You know, this is Black Panther. What if they did a Black Widow? You know, would anybody be interested in a figure where Black Widow gets down on all fours and starts shooting a web out of a... No, no, actually, let's not talk about that anymore. Let's move on very quickly i don't fancy getting demonetized but uh so as i'm going through the characters in my head i'm starting to think there isn't a many animal based characters in the mcu so maybe the mech strike comic fills in those gaps where they can i i, I wouldn't be massively interested in it to be honest but you can see he's 35 centimeters tall he's taller than the original black panther figure for sure big old boy isn't he yeah, that's quite cool. And it'll definitely command some presence on the shelf. And you never know. I mean, technically, this could be an Elseworld Black Panther. You know, we've got the vibranium suit. You know, all that mech test stuff. Maybe he came into the idea like Iron Man came into it and actually built an armoured Black Panther suit. You never know. Another sort of what-if scenario kind of thing. But he also comes with this really cool looking shield i think some people would like that just for their black panther figures to be honest and that sword it, it feels a little bit like war machine mark six as well if you remember that figure and the design of that yeah this feels very much like that so maybe they armorized him for the end of end game in a different sort of what if scenario and he poses pretty well this is actually a black panther figure you could probably get into some really cool poses as well because you've always got the risk with the Black Panther suit that you're going to cause damage with the fabric. But with this guy, you wouldn't have to worry about that so much since he's a die-cast Iron Man style figure. He's going to have exposed joints. You can pose it around and get those really cool sort of Black Panther poses that you could never risk doing with a normal Black Panther figure. And then, of course, you could just put a, a black robot panther in your shelf, you know. <laughs> it looks cool, I'll be honest with you. But here it does look like it's got ripped. It's like if Michael Bay made Beast Wars, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, God, the diamond base. Oh, why do you do it, Hot Toys? Why? Why? <laughs> no. Well, it kind of works for this guy because obviously it's got the flight pole and it can support him a little better than a small base. But still, I'd, as soon as I get these out of the box, the, they go in another box and they disappear until I decide to try and sell my figures. And then I'm swearing because I can't find where I put all these stands. 
because they're, they're not they're not going on the shelf because they just take up way too much space. I don't need any more space being taken up. I need to get rid of some figures. And this guy is going to take up way too much real estate with that stand. But honestly, uh, yeah, this feels like something that I think mech, robot, transformer, beast war, cabin riders, Power Ranger people would absolutely get into. I mean, I'm a bit too old for Power Rangers. I remember I was a teenager when Power Rangers came out. So I was way beyond it. I was just thinking of Pamela Anderson in Baywatch when when Power Rangers was out and about, you know, that kind of thing. I was I was maturing. Kinda. But yeah, it doesn't look like that base is actually coming with him, that stone base. Let's let's just go through, because I'm curious now. Well that's quite a cool picture, isn't it? Look at that. His mouth opens up and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him that. Very, very cool looking figure. This could also work as like a mech sidekick for your black panther figure you know if you had black panther from the movie standing there what's to say he didn't have a panther robot next to him you know endgame suggested stuff like that could have happened and now that i'm thinking about it that would have been so goddamn cool but yeah this could stand next to your normal black panther figure and look like his sidekick like his partner you know falcon and red wing you know that kind of thing and look, yeah, you can pick up the sword and run with it and hand it to him. And he's like, yeah, now you're in trouble. But honestly, I just luminous reflective patterns. Yeah, black light again. But you've got like glowing things. You've got light up hip joints from the looks of it. It looks like light up hip joints. Please tell me that you're not relying on the black light to light this up. It looks like there's a light coming from inside, you know. And I've read the, the thing and they say there's LED effects. So it's got to be, hasn't it? Come on. But yeah, look, it's alternate display option, Panther mode. Yeah, you got Black Panther, stand this next to it. He's going to look even more fierce. That's it, really. You're going to get some hands, a spear, a sword, a shield. None of this is something that I would not expect from a Black Panther figure. But considering that the price in Hong Kong is quite high, imagine the sideshow tax on this bad boy. Yeah. So this is going to be one for the real hardcore. You know, this is going to separate the fans from the uber fans i think when it comes to collecting black panther figures but it's, it's probably something that i will admire people showing off on their shelves but i don't need it on mine what do i no no no, no i don't no i don't no you don't no you absolutely don't don't do it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to pre-order this or what you think of it overall. Some people will love it. Again, like the D100 Iron Man, some will hate it. What sort of figures would you like to see in this sort of style from Hot Toys? If this guy isn't going to get you off your butt to pre-order, what character in this sort of style would get you to pre-order? Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. If you do me a favor now, if you can get them out of my cave i'm going to turn off this led light because it's annoying the shite out of me and i thought it would look cool but it doesn't it just makes my face look weird thanks a lot guys bye bye